Breaking news, Macon Mall just sold for zero dollars? First and foremost, the Macon Mall was just given to Bibb County by its previous owners as a tax write-off due to its declining value. I don't know about you, but if you're from the Macon area, the Macon Mall scene used to be popping. The mall was literally the place to go. And it says that the property recently appraised for $70 million and the previous owners just gave it to the city as a tax write-off, right? What's going on? Because it's $675,000 of annual lease payments going out throughout that place. If you do the math with those lease payments, everything kind of on the lower end when it comes to the property value. But I think this is absolutely amazing for the Macon Mall when it comes to that specific area of Macon because we have to bring it back. Macon's been declining year after year after year. And now we finally have an opportunity to rejuvenate Macon specifically in that area. And it really comes down to this. I'm gonna get into some nerdy details here really quick. However, I'm gonna finish this off with actual things that were you and me, like people, like real life people can actually do. Cause I know statistics and all that information. Kind of boring, but I want, I, I gotta bring this full circle for you here really quick. So Macon Mall, $70 million was a tax write off to the city of Macon. Now, because they're gonna relocate a bunch of government buildings, seven government offices to be exact, it's gonna save the city $1.2 million in rental payments that they're annually using. So actually it's a really, really good thing for our tax dollars if you live over in Macon. And then I also wanna bring up one more thing. Interest on the bond matches savings from rental properties and the addition of just one new retail outlet could turn a profit. Meaning that every single retail, uh, retail store within the actual mall itself now with those savings will actually turn a profit for the mall. The more money the mall makes, the more activities that we're going to be able to do because there's two big things that I want to talk about. The amphitheater. It's being built right now. It's the second largest in Georgia and it's already on to an early success with the concerts that we're having. When it comes down to the actual concerts that are happening, it's actually a lot of fun out there. There's a lot of activity being pushed. But however, for me, it's all about pickleball. Belk was inside of this place, department store. They turned it into the largest indoor pickleball facility in the United States. I literally had a pickleball tournament on Sunday of this last week inside of those courts. I'm gonna get you some footage. There's not a whole lot of footage within there, but there has been thousands and thousands and thousands of people throughout there. We're having tournaments there almost every single weekend, and it is a phenomenal time. We're finally rejuvenating when it comes down to uh, Eisenhower, that's the actual road that the mall is on right next to Sam's Club, right off the interstate. A lot more is coming, and we have hope. We have hope. Beforehand, I'm gonna be honest, driving through Macon's drag, unless you go downtown. Macon's not the best area. Some people love Macon. I guarantee you there's gonna be people in the comments of this video right now saying that Macon is the greatest place on earth. It's all based off of perception, right? There's great places in Macon. There's other places in Macon I, I wouldn't drive through. I don't like it. I don't think you might like it either. But at the end of the day, we are going to bring this back. And I wanna talk a little bit about the economic impact when it comes down to this. This mall has a chance to bring back some great stuff. Average price point in Macon, not that expensive. $156,000 for a house. However, pull some statistics here for you. A three bedroom house can be priced anywhere between, you know, that 146 I was talking about all the way up to 259. But we have some beautiful five bedroom homes backed up to a lake, 700,000 to a million dollar range. So it depends on what neighborhood that you actually live in Macon. But with this video, I really wanna bring this full circle here and explain a little bit about why this mall is gonna have such a big impact. As of the recording of this video, it is April 24th of 2024. This is really hard to say. The average income for a household, not independent, like individual household, $47,625. That is not a lot of income. You go one county south to Housing County, average household income, 88,000. Huge difference in income. And that's resulting in 53.2% of all homes in the city limits are being rented. With that in perspective, not a lot of home ownership, less than half of the homes are actually owned by the actual owner. Meaning with lower income, with everything else like that, the crime rates have increased in Macon. I'm not saying that it's just come from low income. You can do your statistics yourself and all that kind of stuff. 
But Macon has not been a good area for the last few years, and it's been on the decline. But I'm really hoping that this mall has the opportunity to be able to help increase everything that when it's coming down to just the local area. And if you haven't been to Macon before, this video is not to scare you off and turn you off when it comes down to it. Macon really isn't too bad of an area, but I really just want to emphasize them all. Some cool little statistics that are happening with that being said, we got the amphitheater, we got pickleball, we got all of these things. Yes, it's an uphill battle when it comes to crime and low income and rentals and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm really hoping that this is going to be able to make a turnaround specifically in South Macon where the mall is. And we as a community can come together and help regrow our city into what it needs to be. Catch you on the next video. Man, I wonder if this is what news anchors look like. If they just, you know, wear shorts and then put on a suit top all day. Not a bad gig.